day one, it was the easiest thing in the world for me to stop believing in conspiracies. Okay, go ahead. I volunteered for the SENS Foundation, which is a, a medical research charity in Cambridge, which I believe has moved now to the United States on the West Coast. Okay. Uh, I did the ready. video for the event where yeah. Ray Kurzweil spoke, and uh, you know everyone was talking about how to make progress. And I saw uh, Alex Jones do a part talking about how this anti-aging stuff was the Illuminati and how the global elites were going to live forever and everyone else was going to die and all this shit. And I was at that event and I shot the video and published the video. Me. Mm. As a volunteer. Because they ain't got no money. They had no money. They needed money. They didn't have any. And so I'm like, on one hand, I got Alex Jones who talks a lot of shit. I'm like, oh, maybe some of this shit's true. And then he said that the thing I was at and part of and helped make was actually a global conspiracy. I was like, oh, it's all made up. It's all made up. Because there's no way on earth that anyone could ever have come to that conclusion. Because nobody there, I had more money than anyone else there. So like, hmm. where's what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm the richest guy here. I don't know what the fuck. Well, second richest probably. Um, like, I just, I was like, wow, it's all bullshit. It's all made up. And there's actually a... This effect has a name, which I can't remember right now. Um, if you're a, a leader in any industry and you read any yeah. article about your industry, it's always fucking wrong, really wrong. Hmm. And it turns out that that's the case for all the articles, but you just don't know that because you're not an expert in those other things. The, the fuck, it's all wrong, right? So that's when I was like, Oh, you know, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Now, you know, I've been on the other side too. I'm a company yeah. doing things secretively, trying to get to market, not tell other people what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so I've been on both sides of this, right? I've been part of secretive organizations trying to create things in the world, businesses. And I've been uh, on the other side falsely accused, accused of being a conspiracy. So I know conspiracies exist, but they're not the stupid shit you're hearing about. You know, people get caught. The price of LCD screens was a conspiracy. Fucking, uh, obviously gasoline prices are a conspiracy. They got meetings full of people trying to control the fucking price. That shit's illegal, by the way, in most countries. You can't do that. Getting a, a suggested manufacturer's price is barely legal. MSRP as a concept is barely legal. So it's like, <sighs> do things that benefit your life. Do things that make your life better when they're you've done doing them. Read the newspaper, shit post on Twitter with your fucking twenty followers or whatever most people have. That is not doing good for your life. Do things that are good and wholesome for your life. If you like this line of thought and you want to improve your life, you read the book you like it, t.me forward slash sci There's another book, second book you might have read it called Fix Fix the World. Um go read the books. And you can scan through them, right? You don't have to like read it in a straight line. You can just jump around to different shit that seems interesting. Just flip through pages, see you know, see what's interesting to you. It's not linear. You can pick any parts you want. They stand on their they stand on their own. You don't need to have read any other part for them to be effective for you. You learn how to pee better. You learn how to use the toilet better. You learn why you have hair in your ass. It's all in the book for real. 